This video will be a quick start guide for the Creaform GoScan 3D. While we'll be focusing on the GoScan 3D, most Creaform hand scanners will follow the same process. To get started, we'll need the scanner, the scanner cable, and the AC power adapter. Set the rest aside. You'll notice the scanner cable has two separate sides. The side with a USB-AB connector goes to the bottom of the scanner. Plug the barrel connector in, making sure to line the arrow up with the notch on the top of the port. You'll hear a small click. On the other side of the scanner cable, plug the USB-A port into your laptop or computer. and the barrel connector into the AC power adapter. Make sure the arrows line up. Plug the AC power adapter into wall power. If everything is plugged in correctly, you'll notice a small blue light on the back of the scanner. Retrieve the calibration plate from the bottom of the box. The scanner will use the positioning targets on the inside to calibrate. In VX Elements, you'll notice that our GoScan Spark has been detected. Now start a new scan. At the top, go to Configure, Scanner, and Calibrate GoScan. You'll notice an on-screen preview of the scanning process. We'll puppet this preview to go through all the scanning points. Begin scanning with the button on the side of the scanner. Using the preview in VX Elements, follow along with each of the 14 scanning points, first moving the scanner up, then to the right and left, and front and back of the calibration plate. Take note of the crosshair on the calibration plate in the preview. This will help you line up the angle as well as the distance of the scanner. When calibration is complete, press OK. Make sure you return the calibration plate back to a safe area. The calibration plate is very sensitive, so in the hard case, in between the foam is always the safest spot to keep it. We'll be using a rotating turntable marked with positioning targets to scan our small part. For this first scan, we'll add a clipping plane before scanning the part. First, select Scan Positioning Targets. Press the Scan button to begin the scan, then press the button on the side of the scanner to begin collecting data. You'll see the positioning targets show up in the preview window. Press the side button again to stop collecting data. In VX Elements, press Stop Scan, then press Alignment and Manual Alignment. It will automatically align our XY plane to the positioning targets and press OK. Next click Add Clipping Plane per selected three targets. Control click to choose three of the positioning targets you scanned previously. Then click Create. Choose the drop down next to Scan and choose Scan Surface. We'll place our object vertically for our first scan. On the hand scanner, Hold down the side button to begin the scan, then press it again to begin capturing data. Ideal scanning is done from the center of the object outward in a looping motion back to the center of the object, like a flower or a spider web. Notice the green light on the hand scanner, as well as the green scan lines in the preview window. This means that you're at the ideal distance for scanning. Too close and the light will turn yellow or red and too far away and the lines will turn blue. Notice also that because we set up a clipping plane, none of the data below the positioning targets is being scanned. Press the button again to stop recording data. Press the scan button at the top left to stop the scan. I want to clean up this scan artifacting around our part. So let's stop the scan and use the connected selection feature. Control click our part to select all of the connected data, then choose invert to select all of the data not connected to our object. Press the delete key and confirm. 
and here we have a clean scan. We have some holes on the underneath parts of the scan because of the orientation that we scanned it. So we'll do a second scan in a different orientation to close all the gaps. Press add scan and OK. For our second scan, let's orient the part horizontally. Click scan surface to begin the scan. Then press the button on the side of the scanner to begin collecting data. Notice this time, because we didn't set up a clipping plane, we're actually capturing data from the turntable as well. This can be cleaned up after the fact. With this horizontal scan, I really want to make sure to collect all the data I was missing from our first scan, including the interior parts of the cutouts, as well as the bottom of the part. While scanning the whole turntable, you'll notice a lot more of the red and blue lines I talked about earlier in the scan preview. Go ahead and stop the scan in VX Elements, and we'll hide the preview of our scan number one while we get the scan number two cleaned up. Go ahead and add a clipping plane, first selected three targets, and choose three of the positioning targets on the scan two turntable. That gets rid of most of the data, then we can follow the same process as the first scan using the connected selection, inverting it, and deleting all the other artifacts. To make our two scans into one part, we'll first have to align the scans and then use the merge scan feature. At the top, click alignment and surface best fit. I want our scan one to be our fixed scan and our scan two to be our mobile scan. I'm also gonna show you the process to do a manual pre-alignment. This will help make sure the alignment function is more accurate. You'll get two preview windows our scan 2 is on the left, our scan 1 is on the right. Move the previews until they're in a similar orientation, and then we can begin selecting corresponding points on each of the scans. You'll notice a preview showing the current pre-alignment, and as we add more points to each of the scans, the pre-alignment will become better oriented. You can also rotate your previews and add points to different sides of the scans. With pre-alignment complete, choose best fit and it will finish doing the alignment process. I have to scroll up in my preview window to see the part. but the alignment looks good, so we can go ahead and press OK. Next, we'll use the Merge Scans tool to make our two scans into one object. There's some scan parameters that you could change here, but the default settings are gonna be OK for our purposes, so I'll just click Accept. The Merge Scans tool is gonna to automatically clean up some of the edges, as well as some of the artifacting for us, and give us a nice smooth surface. We have a few extra positioning targets, but our scan looks good. I'm gonna transfer our scan to VX model, so in a future video, I can show you the reverse engineering process and how to transfer it into SolidWorks. For now, let's get our model ready for 3D printing. At the top, use the watertight remesh tool. This will make sure that there are no holes or non-manifold edges on your model. Press OK, and you'll now see a merge scan watertight remesh. We can choose File, Export, and Export Mesh to export our model as an STL file that's ready for 3D printing. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the rest of our playlist on Creoform and VX Elements.